Well, hello. The baby is distracted for about 0.25 seconds. We're gonna see him just start crawling around any second now. Okay. Oh crap, I made a list of things to do, but I left it in the bedroom. It's not worth going back in there in case we make eye contact. You know what I mean? So I'm gonna go off the top of my head over here. Uh, today is Friday. It's brownie Friday. Friday. You gotta say it like that. My kids say it like that now too. So I'm planning on whipping up some fancy brownies, more than a Ghirardelli box brownie mix. I don't know. I'm, I have. I don't have a recipe in mind, so obviously Pinterest is gonna be my friend on this one. And uh, it's pretty much my only plans for, <laughs> for today. Um, it's, I don't have too, too much time, like obviously a few hours before I have to pick the kids up from school. And then Avelina has after school activities. Like, oh my gosh, already? It's like not even, we haven't had a full week of school yet. This is their first full week of school. Here it comes. Ready? <laughs> Hello, hello. Anyway, it's their first full week of school, already signing them up for after school activities. I'm like, they waste this amount of time. <laughs> it, it wouldn't be so bad, but we have obviously multiple kids in multiple after school activities, trying to keep everything balanced and it's kind of condensed where we're not driving here, there, and everywhere every single day. So we're doing our best to try to do that. I signed up. Eleanor in acro yesterday. I just got distracted. I hear the tile guy going I actually just picked out the grout colors today. So I'm really excited about that I don't like how did that not get picked out earlier? I don't know, but he was here He's like I have to get the grout. What color do you want? So I was like, oh my gosh, I don't know and um, He said the color doesn't stain. I know I was just talking about after school activities now I'm talking about grout because that's how my mind works. We'll circle back eventually, but the grout Colors do I have pictures? I'll throw them on the screen. I know I have pictures, but maybe I'll throw them on the screen I definitely don't have video. Maybe I'll I won't have video by the time it's done I'll show you what it looks like eventually But and anyway, I picked out like grays and then well he picked out his recommendations and he picked out white for like the white Tile it's like white and gray, but he picked out white and he was telling me that it doesn't stain and I was like I don't know if I believe you, but I'll, I'll trust you, I guess. I don't know. It's his job. So we picked out, and it's called Frost. He corrected me. It's not white. <laughs> so I think that's what we're going to go with. I'll keep you updated on all of that good stuff. <laughs> but anyway, you say hi. <laughs> he has banana all over himself. So after school activities. Dad, dad. Did you mean to say mama? Dad, 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 dad. Dad, 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 dad. Never mama, always dada. Who stays up with you every night? Mama. Who wakes up with you every morning? Mama. So I just signed up Eleanor yesterday for Acro, and oh my gosh, was that an adventure and a half? She, she needs like a whole outfit, so. Oh, anyway, there's a there's a dilemma. It always is, but it worked itself out. And so I was looking and thinking, okay, what corresponding class could any of my other children go to that interests them? Obviously, I we don't push our kids to do anything that they don't want to do. We always try to encourage them to be a well-rounded human being and try out different things and see what they enjoy. Anyway, Eleanor really loves gymnastics and acro, so those are the two things that she has decided to do. I really want her to do ballet, so I'm like, are you interested in any dance? So we're looking at that schedule too and seeing if there's anything that she wants to do. But anyway, Meredith is still super young, so I was looking at the classes for her and they have a tap and tots. <laughs> oh my God, I can't wait. I. I think the class is full. I'm crossing my fingers that we can get on a wait list. I have to call again today uh, because yesterday I couldn't figure it out. I digress. I want to get her on a wait list and I asked her like, do you want to do this? And she said, yes. I was like, you're going to have some shoes that make noise. Oh my gosh. I hope she loves it if she does it. And um, I, yeah, I can't, I just love, I love seeing little ones dance. Even Wentworth, he was in a dance class for a while. Anyway, okay, so Brownie Friday, I need to look up a recipe and then just random stuff I have to do around the house. I really have to wash my sheets. I don't know if I'll do that. You know those people who are like, I wash my sheets once a week. Does it surprise you that I am not one of those people? All right, I do have to get some laundry done, so that's what I'll do. I'll do something. <laughs> okay, let's look up a brownie recipe. Cause it's brownie Friday, Friday. Well, hi, I came in my room. It's a mess, but that's nothing new. One day I'll have an office and that will be a mess too. Okay, came in here to look up a brownie recipe. 
looked on my Pinterest board. You're never gonna believe what's on here because I almost forgot. Okay, so we're, you guys know we're doing built-ins for Eleanor's room, like with a window seat and stuff. So the guy got back to me with that and with like his plans. And we also want to do that secret door in the closets between Wentworth's room and Wolfgang's room. So he, he did like a whole built-in for the closets and I wasn't expecting that. I thought he was just gonna like throw a door in there. I don't know what I was expecting, but he did this whole thing and I was like, oh my gosh, I didn't even think about having built-in closets. Like obviously that's like real bougie, okay? I've never had more than like wire racks. I mean, obviously my closet's really bougie and it has wire racks. So anyway, what I'm trying to say is I didn't even think of that. So now he's asking for is revisions or whatever and I'm like oh my god well I kind of want drawers what else do I want I don't even know what the options are so check it out like look at look at this dream of a closet the only caveat is obviously it needs space to have a secret door and uh, Wentworth's closet only has a single door opening so drawers I don't think would work in his closet I'll show you the drawing this is the what the mock drawing of what the built-in closets would look like so now I'm thinking, like, this is the secret door, okay? So I guess it's a cabinet, not so much a shelf, but I, you know, I don't really, I'm easy to please. So now I'm thinking, okay, well, instead of this rack down here, because let's face it, who hangs clothes these days, uh, let's do drawers. By the way, this is the built-ins that we kind of designed for Eleanor's room. Still deciding, I don't know, I might want to raise this. I'm going to have to go in with measurements and see how high this is. I might want to raise it a little bit, give it a little more depth. But there, we like the drawers. It's actually really huge. It's a huge space. So um, he said there's enough room to do drawers on both sides, but I was like, no, let's keep it like that. We like the cabinets. We like the drawers. We like this space, and we like the cabinets up top. Um, and it doesn't go to the ceiling because my gosh, it's just so much already. Is there is there something I should add? Is there anything I could add to like give it more interest? I just don't even know. Or is that good? I don't. Is the window seat too low? Like what what's happening here? I guess I need to measure like the distance. I would like it to be a little higher, but then you have to like jump on the window seat. I don't really know. It's things I have to ask. I have a lot of questions. Okay. And then this is the revised closet built-ins that he sent me. Uh, so drawers over here, this is the secret door, and then I s asked for a place to put shoes and stuff, so shelves. Um, and then he did this to the other side, so this would be Wentworth side without the drawers because it, it doesn't allow the space for it. Whereas Wolfgang's closet will have two double door openings, so you it would easily be accessible. Um, but I don't know about having the shoes up here. One, it's too high. And two, I would rather put like cubbies here and just have a couple shelves. I don't know, I'm still thinking on that too. And the color, of course. Oh gosh, and you know what else I did? <laughs> I put in another order for the Magic Candle Company. You know, the problem is I signed up for their emails. So every time they have a sale, I get an email. And this one was like, oh, we have a new scent or a scent is back or whatever. And we have a sale, buy two, get one free. And I was like, I don't know if I can contain myself. So I did it. I bought two and I got one free, except for I bought four and I got two free. <laughs> because they had a section that was like fall scents and I was like, I love them all. I just need to collect them all, you know what I mean? So I'll be excited when those come in. Okay, closets, scents, after school activities is up here. What did I come here and, oh, brownies. That's right. Look, how can you contain yourself? Halloween fragrances. Magic candle box subscription today. I'm about two clicks away from getting a subscription. Okay, don't tempt me. And then they have fall fragrances. Yes, please. <laughs> All right, let's look at what we came for, which is brownie recipes. Hey. hey. Well, loving this little article I found, and it's like, what's ruining your brownies? Check this one. Too much cocoa powder, borderline tastes like dirt. <laughs> I've actually had these pinned for a while, so maybe today's the day we try them out. French silk brownies. Looks like I pinned these a while ago too, millionaire brownies. That looks like caramel, which, I don't know, it's like a sticky mess. Ooh, Nutella brownies over here. Oreo truffle brownies, those are really good. Mississippi mud. Is it horrible that I'm also going to search Halloween food? Is it too soon? I don't think so. I feel like I've made a lot of this. Every year people come up with new and exciting ideas. 
Like zombie brain cupcakes, revolutionary. Right, so I'm looking through Halloween stuff and I am looking at this. Looks like a picture, painting, whatever. Have you guys heard of ghost painting? It's not painting actual ghosts. I mean, kind of in this case it is, but it's where you take a painting. It's something that I wanted to add to the summer bucket list, but never got a chance to because summer, I feel like went by like that. I try. You know, we try to do as much as possible, but I also feel like we, could, we couldn't have done any more, okay? But anyway, so I wanted to add this to the summer bucket list. I, I'm thinking I might make a fall bucket list. Revolutionary. <laughs> and you know what? I think fall is the first time I saw like a bucket list thing like that. Um, because you know, all the fall festivals and stuff like that. Anyway, that was years and years, like nine years ago where I was like, oh, that's a great, I may have even made one long, long ago. It didn't look like a poster board. I digress. The ghost painting is like where you get a painting, like from the thrift store or one that you have around your house and you, it's like a ghost writer, but instead of writing a book, you know, you paint. And so that's been on my list of things to do is like get paintings from the thrift store. I really want to go to the thrift store and I'm really just looking for reasons to go. So I might do that soon because I think it's just so cute. So anyway, what you do is you get, get a painting from a thrift store and you kind of repaint it or just add to the painting, make it look like fall or really you can make it look however the heck you want to. You're the ghost painter. And in these instances, they take the paintings and they make them look spooky or haunted or fall-ish. And I just think that would be such a fun fall activity for the kids and really, my, I'm not a good painter. Oh my gosh, we did painting with a twist one time or whatever it is, Alex and I during uh, a date night one time. It was not good for me. <laughs> we did the Eiffel Tower and I don't, I don't know what it is. I was just trying to be like so precise and in the end it just, it was, it, I'm not a painter is all I can say. And it was not for me. Alex, the lady would be like, ah! Oh, and then make a line this way or whatever. Alex would literally be talking to everyone and then come to his painting, do like this, and then walk away and like continue. And the whole time I'm sitting there, I'm like, oh gosh, I just, uh, I don't, why? Not for me, didn't do it again, needless to say. But I think this would be more fun for me. I mean, it's been a few years. I've grown a little bit as a person. So we'll see, anyway, so I think, Next time we see each other, we might be at the thrift store. Fingers crossed. Normally I have my kids do uh, the dishes, like unload the dishwasher, but today is Friday and they've been so great. And so I figured I might as well unload it for them. Even though it really only takes a few minutes. And then I stop talking and he stops making noise. Isn't that amazing? You know what's amazing? That I'm putting together like stuff to do for the fall. <laughs> and then I had to actually Google, when does fall officially begin? And I've already forgotten. I did it a couple of hours ago. Fall, the first day of fall is like the end of September. Oh my gosh. And you know what? It's probably going to feel like summer until January for us here in Florida. You know, there was one year where November hit the top of November hit and there was a cool, cool, what do they call that? A cold front every day. A cold front every day until, I don't know, February. And it was lovely. Can we do that again? Global warming? What? Wait, uh, doesn't global war Well, okay. Let, let's talk about something else. <laughs> anyway, um, so I'm putting together stuff for the fall bucket list and certainly what's on there is to do the ghost painting and I am so excited about that and it's proving to be more difficult than I thought it would be to find paintings. I thought it would be like oh go to the thrift store and I'll be able to get all of them. Absolutely not. What? What? Why? There's so many flowers at the thrift store. No I need landscape or po not portrait. Yeah definitely not portrait. Not flowers. I need landscape. That's what I need. I need houses. Even the inside of a house. I, oh my gosh, it's proving to be more difficult than I thought it would be. And, you know, I'm up for the challenge. And mostly because it's just a reason for me to go to the thrift store more often. <laughs> to search them out. Just an update on these. 
labels that I got, I got them from Etsy. I don't know if they're worth it. I mean, they are, <laughs> whatever, you can use a permanent marker, but I never have a fine tip permanent marker. I feel like I buy them all the time, but I never have any, because I guess I don't buy them all the time. Um, but these stay in the wash, washing machine, dishwasher, whatever the heck it's called. But I'm gonna check in here to see if any fell in here, but also I need to clean this. I'm not even showing you, it's the little filter, so I need to, you do it. It's been it's been over a year, I think, since I cleaned it. Don't tell anyone. People are all like, "Ooh, you should do it monthly." I'm like, I literally can't keep up with anything. I'm drowning. I don't even know how to open it. Wait, is that it? it? Doesn't smell as bad as I thought it would. No labels inside, so I guess that's good news. Looks like a lemon peel, some other kind of food. Pretty gross on the bottom here. I'm just gonna take a sponge to it. And then this thing, I guess that does look pretty gross. I don't, I guess we'll see what it looks like. But there aren't any labels, so I'm pleasantly surprised. Ooh, yeah, that's real gross. It's not supposed to have anything on it. Is this me getting my life together? <laughs> One task at a time, I guess. All right, cool. Clean sink, clean dish. There is not a dirty dish in sight. Here it is now. Looking pretty clean and fresh. Cool. Bad news is this also came out with it and I have no idea what this is from. <laughs> I got it back in. Isn't there something I'm supposed to like clean my dishwasher with? I feel like my dishwasher gets clean every time I do dishes. Am I wrong? <laughs> I cleaned my garbage disposal the other day with one of those tabs. I bought like a pack of them, I don't know, a year ago. And so I found them when I was trying to tidy up. And so I used one of those to clean my garbage disposal, which makes sense because it's kind of gross, you know what I mean? But this, I feel like I bought something to clean it. Or maybe that was my washing machine. I guess I'll investigate. Am I thinking about the right thing? Like a fresh or something? Like what's this? Yeah, I don't, I don't know. Do I at least get points for thinking about deep cleaning my dishwasher? I feel like I see all these people do it on Instagram. But you know how people on Instagram be lying. So I'm going through my recipe book, trying to figure out what's for dinner tonight. I don't know. And then I'm looking through the desserts to see, maybe I have a brownie recipe in here. Yes, I do. Peanut butter brownie trifle. And then I'm scrolling along. I found pumpkin brownies. These are like healthier dessert options. Uh, obviously still dessert. And then it's so nice. I printed it twice. Does that mean I should make it? I'm going through the ingredient list to see if I have everything for it. I don't. Meh. I don't have any Reese's peanut butter cups. So there's a little dilemma. But I have, I think I have everything to make the French silk pie brownies. But maybe when I go to pick up the kids from the store, I could just run in Publix real quick and get, get some stuff that I need for this. And then we'll make two, and then we'll have two banging brownie recipes. I'll think about that, I don't know. Because then I'll eat two brownie recipes. <laughs> All right, does anyone else's life revolve around dinner? So I'm thinking, like, what should I make for dinner tonight? Uh, I want it to be quick, easy, simple. Avelina has volleyball today, so she won't be home until pretty late. I'm looking through the Macro Friendly Foods app, the website with all the recipes, and I think she recently shared on her Instagram a honey, lime, and chalot. And that sounds like, I always have limes, I always have honey, I always have tortitis. Honey, lime, chili powder, garlic powder, shredded chicken, tortillas, cheese, green enchilada sauce, milk. I have it all. That's for dinner tonight. Some days I don't even know why I'm meal plan. Well, the pro, it's not a problem, but I'm making a what's for dinner video. And I would rather just like keep those recipes together and then I'll make something tonight with you because I would rather you have a really, great dinner recipe to leave this video with and be like, yeah, I wanna make some chicken lime enchiladas tonight too. And maybe you have all the ingredients on hand just like I do. So I'm gonna grab some chicken out of the freezer. Time to take Wolfgang on a walk. I took him on a walk yesterday. I do, I take him on a walk often. He normally just hates it and sometimes I'll just take him like up and down the lane. And even by then he's like crying. Anyway, yesterday was the first time he, one, enjoyed a walk. Like, we saw a dog and he smiled and laughed at it. I was like, who are you? And not only did he enjoy it, he fell asleep. So I'm hoping the stars align again today and uh, miracles 
happen more than once in a while because if he's able to actually nap off of me, of course I could always baby wear him, but if he naps in the stroller, then I can go and make French silk pie brownies kind of uninterrupted. So that's what I'm hoping for, fingers crossed. I guess I'll take you along our walk with us a little bit. There's always a couple horses here. Oh, hello. Hello, my sweet. Look how beautiful. Hello, yes, I don't have any food. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Wolfgang loves a horsey. Say hi. <laughs> Get a little selfie in with a horsey. Hello. He's gonna think my hair is food, but look, he's got a little braid. Isn't he so pretty? There's another one back there too. But this one always meets us up here. <laughs> See that horsey, buddy? See that horsey? Guys, it's so hot, even that horse is sweating. It is only 90 degrees outside, but the, with the humidity, they said it feels like 100. I mean, I don't know about all that. I just know it's hot. I like this little path that I take. There's shade in and out, so that's really nice. And it's not too, too long. It's not too short. It's like Goldilocks length. So I'm just giving you a little clip of this. Maybe my intention was to speed it up. But it's always good to like get outside every day. I say that and I'm like, uh, I, I dread going outside, but everyone benefits from going outside every day. Catch that vitamin D, get that sunshine. It's grounding. Get your feet on the floor. You got to get yourself moving. There's so many benefits to going outside, but you know what? I don't, it's hot. That's all I'm going to say. Sometimes it's just too hot to go outside. Oh my heck. I'm back from my walk. I got bit by a horse fly like on my arm and then it landed on my forehead too so who the heck knows um i didn't print out the recipe and i don't want to do it right now because i just rolled him into my bedroom i may have gotten bit on my leg too so i'm going to try to look up the recipe gather all the ingredients and then we'll throw it together and hopefully i'll have enough time to set and be ready for dinner tonight, after dinner. I'm gathering all the ingredients here. It calls for a pan that's 11, I'm so precise, you know me, 11 by seven inches. Who owns a pan that size? I couldn't find, this is the best I could find. Honestly, it's the one I was gonna use anyway, so it's what. Turns out you do need a box brownie mix for this, but it's just the base, which I don't know why they do that. Why don't they just do like flour, cocoa powder, sugar, which I feel like that's all that's in here. But it changes up how you make the box brownie mix so you don't prepare it, it gives you other things to do. So, I already made a mistake. So to the brownie mix, I'm going to add a quarter cup of milk and then one egg and five and a half tablespoons of melted butter and then give it a mix. What if these are the best brownies we've ever had in our lives? Once it's just combined, I'm going to throw it into a greased dish. I guess the real test is, does it taste better this way? I guess it's not much different than how the box asks you to prepare it. Normally it's one third cup water, one third cup oil, one egg. So salmonella, I uh, dare you. Yep, I'd eat it just as well. Mm. And I will. 350 degrees for about 30 minutes. If you're thinking, wow, Wolfgang sleeps on his own now without you, no. He doesn't. That's all I got, about 10 minutes, but that's okay. I'm gonna start, while the brownies are cooking, I'm gonna start on dinner. Kind of like a marinade. It calls for cooked chicken, but I'm just gonna cook my own chicken. I'm seasoning it up. I have a pan behind me that was heating up and then the baby woke up, so I had to move it. So I'll get this going with just a little bit of oil. I'm just seasoning it with chili powder, garlic powder, onion powder, and a little bit of salt and pepper. And I place it on a board like this, or you can place it on paper towels or whatever, so that when I season it, I just season one side. And then when I throw it on the pan, I can season the other side. This is also a great way to just meal prep a bunch of chicken. Just cook some at the top of the week and store it in your fridge for whenever you need some cooked chicken. It's looking so good and it smells good. This is just how simple it can be. Honestly, this right here could be dinner, <laughs> but we're gonna elevate it. I'm gonna shred this chicken while the other batch is cooking. And of course, I'm gonna take a little taste test. Supreme, juicy to the max, so good. I guess I could just cut this up, but I like to make things harder for myself, you know? I know the old trick of like throwing it in your KitchenAid and doing that, but 
it's whatever. So to the chicken, I have it all shredded. I'm going to add, oh, at least a half a cup of honey in here. That looks good. And then the juice of at least three limes. These are pretty big juicy limes. So I'm hoping it gets me, you know, close to a half cup. The recipe also calls to add seasonings to just like the marinade, but I added so much to my chicken. I think we're good there. Oh my gosh, already. The fragrance of this lime, I'm gonna add some lime zest to it too, because I am obsessed with zest. I'm obsessed with citrus. Just, if you wanna elevate a dish ever, you just add fresh herbs, fresh citrus, and that'll do it. And this is the whole marinade. So I am going to put this in my fridge. First, I'm gonna give it a mix, let the juices meet each other, and then I'm gonna let this marinade in the fridge until it's time for me to put the enchiladas together. This stuff is so dang good. You could just serve this straight up with some rice. Bon appetit. Okay, I have to leave in about 10 minutes, and right when I get home, Hopefully I'm home in time. We're meeting with a new contractor. Oh gosh, was that too much? To give us a second opinion on the whole debacle about the hallway. It's a whole thing. I talked about it in my last video, I think. Anyway, I want my house to kind of smell good. So I am going to throw some of these uh, fragrance oils in, the Magic Candle Company. Love them so much. Right now I'm throwing in Hocus Pocus. <laughs> I'm gonna tidy up this bathroom because we're gonna be like congregating in the hallway and this bathroom's pretty gross and needs my attention anyway. I should actually wash this rug. I've seen worse, but I do need to tidy up in here. I don't know where this came from. Kids be kids, you know? Does anyone else like think, oh, I have 10 minutes, I can get so much. Honestly, I can do a lot in 10 minutes and give me two hands and I can do even more, you know? But I just wanted to give this bathroom a nice little tidy up I wasn't deep cleaning I didn't even do you know it was like minimal effort for maximum results and that's all I really care about hide the mess hide the chaos only clean what can be seen that's what my life is all about and I'm in here and I I don't like the yellow rug anymore I want to get that out of my house get rid of it and then the shower curtain and then the artwork I'm like what was I even thinking when I got this it totally matches the bathroom it's actually matches really really well uh with the shower tile and then like obviously the cabinets are brown and all that good stuff but I don't know I'm feeling not these colors I don't I don't really know what I'm gonna do about it probably not much I'm probably just gonna change out the rug and maybe that'll give it a nice effect and check this out but I love these things. Look how bubbly and sudsy that is. I just kept going to town. I was like, this is fantastic. Just get all the chemicals off of that thing. Get as much out of it as I can. Squeeze every penny worth, right? Sometimes I go around and do multiple toilets with just one. The house officially smells like bleach and cinnamon. So that's good. I'm going to pick up the kids. Hopefully this one sleeps in the car, maybe. He'll take a decent nap. And then I'll finish the brownies when I get back. That Hocus Pocus scent smells so good. Um, I also decided on my way out, I'm going to throw a load of laundry in because why not? It needs to be done. It'll be a great start to my weekend. And who knows, maybe I'll even fold it later. If you peeked on that, I think that, oh no, I was going to say there's new towels in here. No, there's not. They're the old crusty old towels. So I'm going to throw this in here and that really helps. Sometimes when I shower, the towels smell so bad. And I know vinegar and baking soda really helps with that. But uh, that stuff does too, the Lysol sanitizer. I recently got some new towels for like Wentworth's, for Wentworth's linen closet. And I'm debating just getting them for like the girls' closet too, or bathrooms. Or really, it's not for their rooms, it's for them to use. You get what I'm trying to say. Because, and then Alex and I are stuck here using like, I don't know, the oldest, crustiest towels that we own. Okay, now for real I'm gonna go. Man, that smells divine. Remember the old me that was hopeful that he would fall asleep in the car? <laughs> I don't know why I thought that, you guys. If you have a baby who literally cries in the car. Doesn't matter where I'm going. Doesn't matter how long he's in the car. He cries. He just cries. I thought, look, as he gets older, it'll get easier. It doesn't. 
Not yet anyway. Okay, so to the brownie mixture, it's actually been cooling. I don't know, guys, the contractor came. It's just, I don't know where I am, but I do know I need to finish these brownies and I need to finish throwing dinner together. So for the French silk part of these brownies, I have eight ounces of cream cheese and it's softened. Just gonna throw that in. With a little touch of vanilla extract. Just gonna whip this together. Not together, just give it a whip. Well, I guess there's more than one ingredient. Oh, wow. I'm gonna melt a half a cup of semi-sweet chocolate chips. Hopefully this is good enough. I have the like no sugar Lily's brand. And then a quarter cup of butter and I'm gonna melt this 30 second increments. And to this mixture, I'm going to add two cups of powdered sugar. Perfect, whip that up. Just in time to give this a mix. Okay, that looks really nice and dreamy and creamy. I'm gonna scrape down the sides and then I'm gonna drizzle in the chocolate while it mixes. Ooh. That is looking beautiful. The last thing to do is fold in eight ounces of Cool Whip. So I'm just gonna give this a nice fold in, a nice mix. Keep it nice and fluffy and aerated. I mean, look at that. That is magnifique. <laughs> Wolfgang smacked his lips. You wanna try some? Okay, I'll give you some. Ooh, magnifique. <laughs> Very important step here is to have cooled brownies. This seems like a heck of a lot of whipped topping and there's even a third layer. So I'm sure this will be extremely rich. Wow, wow, wow. And then I guess because that's not enough, you're supposed to add eight more ounces of Cool Whip on top. I This is getting wild and crazy, but okay. You know, they sell a zero sugar variety of this. I'm just saying. I don't have it, but they, they sell it. <laughs> Nothing else could fit in this pan. But wait, there's more. I don't have any Baker's chocolate or anything, but I do have these Ghirardelli squares. Oh, that's too, that's too little. Well, it might be my only option. That or, let's try these pieces. Oh gosh, I just, oh, it's a caramel one? Oh, I'm the worst. I thought it was just milk chocolate. Okay, well, I have some dark chocolate here. And I'm just gonna do this over top of it. And then I'm gonna leave it in the fridge for as long as I can handle it. Ooh, you little punk. You, <laughs> you enjoy that, okay? That's what I wanna do too, let's be real. Okay, well now it went from bakery to just overkill. Good enough, oh geez Louise. <laughs> Here we go, let's fix that a little bit. Perfection does exist. Into the fridge. Hey oh, just realized there's a football game on today. Woo, -woo Patreon for Titan. Are you ready for some football? Yeah, yeah, buffalo chicken dip. But first, I'm gonna throw the enchiladas together. What's that? First of all, I who else doesn't enjoy when they're they have a football game at 8:30 at night? Like, come on, that's my bedtime. You know, the kids' bedtime anyway, and then I'm stuck in there putting the and my night is over at that point. And really, I don't ever get a chance to like watch TV anyway, so I don't know, it's a pipe dream. But I try. All right, anyway, 8.30 is so late for a game. I'm gonna throw the enchiladas together. Meat's been marinating. Can you even call it a marinade if it's like cooked meat? Uh, the only extra ingredients I have are tortillas, green enchilada sauce. I might need two cans of this, I'm unsure. I'll, I'll, if I need more, I'll get more. And then some cheese. And then of course the the chicken. This meal was fantastic. The enchiladas are always great on Elise's meal plans. Um, I would say I prefer the, what are they called? Sweet pork? Yeah, the sweet pork enchiladas where you kind of cook the meat in the crock pot beforehand. But it's all kind of the same. I mean, kind of not. I don't know. Obviously, the flavor profiles are a little bit different, but still enchiladas, still delicious. I much prefer the green sauce over a red sauce for enchiladas. Well, I think so, anyway. There's a time and place for both. Both are welcome. Both are eaten. <laughs> but 
Um, in general, the recipes on the meal plan are just super simple to throw together, and I'm so thankful for that. Uh, I made another one uh, this uh, just tonight. That's Wolfgang. He's saying hi, and he enjoyed the enchiladas too. Uh, but I made another dinner off the meal plan tonight, and I was just like blown away. So simple to throw together, and then like obviously it had to cook in the oven, but it's family friendly because I mean obviously busy mom friendly specifically the recipes that I pick because I you know I got a lot of kids to feed and we're always running around doing stuff I don't always have a ton of time to make dinner so I like the convenience of them and that's why I pick the ones that Ooh, I do. Ooh so bubbly like Michael I'm just gonna throw some cilantro on top for color and flavor and it always brightens the dish up just adding a little bit of I'm trying to make it look picture perfect. I'm just um, adding any herb just elevates the dish. And I love the flavor of cilantro. And doesn't that just look so good? Picture perfect, Pinterest worthy, magazine worthy. It's like Food Network. Give me a call. This is fantastic. It hits every time. And even if you're weary about enchiladas, because I was at first, I was like, I don't like soggy stuff. It's so good. Just give it a try. Give it a go. And I think you're really going to like it. And even if you don't, just poke around on the other meal plans that the other plan meals that she has on the plan. And I think you'll be pleasantly surprised. Oh, and I threw together a salad. Just something quick and easy. Something green to get in our bellies. That was the Costco salad. It comes with some seasonings that I wasn't a huge fan of, but I just left them out. Um, and then this, oh my gosh, the dessert of our dreams. This was amazing. Amazing. Maybe the best brownies I've ever had. <laughs> best brownies I've had in a really long time. I feel like I say that a lot, but the, oh my gosh. Oh, supreme. It's like 6 30 in the morning. So <clears throat> my pitch, <laughs> I'm just kidding. But <laughs> these silk pie brownies, Silk pie? Yeah, right? Oh, so good. Joanna Gaines, stinking who? Because this is where it's at. Brownies all day over pie crust. Boom. Make them. You won't regret it. Well, I guess that's it. We're going to enjoy dinner. Thank you guys so much for watching and hanging out. Hope you enjoyed hanging out with me a little bit today. If you want to subscribe, put a little happy in your day. I'll see you next time. Bye.